With inventory continuing to rise and talks of a housing recession, we're trying to figure out what in the world is going on in this real estate market. In this video, we're going to break down the latest market report that just came out from the Austin Board of Realtors and discuss what that means for you if you are looking to get into the housing market, whether you're looking to buy or sell in Austin. Stay tuned. What's happening, everybody? Ian Grossman here, your realtor in Austin, Texas. We've got a lot to unpack in this video today. So let's jump right into it with the latest market report that just came out from the Austin Board of Realtors. We're going to focus on the Austin area report. So the median sales price just came out 515,000. Now this is the second month in a row that we have seen that sales price drop from the high of 550 just a couple months back. Here's what you got to keep in mind though. We're still 8% above where we were in last year's July report. So that year over year growth is still happening, but we're seeing that number get smaller and smaller. Here's what we need to focus on. The 30%, 40% increases that we were seeing previously, that was unsustainable. It was not healthy for our market. 8% is more normal, five to 10% range. Usually we see Austin maybe hover a little bit over that in those year over year numbers. That's what we want to focus on because when you're buying now, that's what you're looking for. You're looking for that long-term growth. So yes, we've seen those prices dip in median sales price over the last couple months, but we're still up compared to this time last year. So a lot of the buzz right now is surrounding the amount of homes that are on the market here in the Austin area. Well, this is interesting. New listings have actually decreased year over year from this time last year. So that makes you wonder why so much uh, inventory? Well, check out the active listings. The active listings, over 8,700 active listings, 167% increase from July of 2021. Now, we were already starting to see in July 2021, some more homes come on the market, you know, from where it was earlier in, uh, in the year where there was like 0 0.3, 0 0.4 months of inventory. We were creeping up closer to a month at that time, but the active listings on the market right now have skyrocketed and Part of that, homes are sitting on the market longer, less buyer demand. We see the average days on market up to 22 days. That was up from up 10 days from last year at this time, where homes were sitting on the market for an average of 12 days. So if you didn't get it in the first week or two, it wasn't there anymore. Here's another interesting one. Pending sales are down. They're down 25% year over year. Why? Back to the demand uh, aspect. We know that mortgage rates have continued to increase from the beginning of the year. However, if you're watching this around August, when we're releasing mid-August, when we're releasing it, the interest rates have kind of stabilized. Yes, we have seen the Fed interest rate hike. We saw a big one in July, uh, sorry, a big one in June, a big one in July, but mortgage rates have somewhat stabilized. We're still hovering in that low to mid 5% range. Sometimes it ticks a little bit up closer to six, but it is lower from where we were a couple months ago uh, when they peaked at 6% plus. So this is a combination. Yes, buyer demand has softened. More homes are sitting on the market. We see that not as many homes came on the market compared to this time last year. More homes are sitting. There's more homes out there for buyers to choose from. Months of inventory, 2.7 months. So if you are looking now, you have three times as many homes as you had to look at last July. That is huge if you're a home buyer in this market. It's actually a breath of fresh air. Yes, you are paying more from the increase in home prices from last year and interest rates, but finding a home, not competing against a million other buyers, not conceding all of your, uh, you know, your contingencies, whether it's appraisal, inspection, all that kind of stuff, you're not having to do that as a buyer right now, which is really huge. If you're a buyer looking in this market, you know, we've given tips in other videos um, about what we're seeing, how buyers are winning in the market. And keep in mind, rising interest rates, there is a way to combat that or at least, at least take some of that pain away. And that is in the form of buying your rate down. We've given in other videos a couple different ways that you can buy your rate down, a couple options. Talk to your lender, discuss. How can I get a lower rate than what we're seeing today? And a lot of times right now we're seeing sellers offer concessions, builders offer concessions, and they are the ones paying 
for those rate buy downs. So it's really not coming out of your pocket, but you reap the benefits over the course of several years with lower monthly payments. Now the big buzzword we've been seeing a lot this week, housing recession, 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 recession. We're seeing it everywhere. Are we in a recession? Some say yes, some say no. The definition keeps changing. I'm not going to get into the politics of that one, but we've been seeing a housing recession come up a lot in news articles over the last few days. And it's because National Association of Realtors just released their report and we've seen six months of existing home sales drop. Now, Lawrence Yoon, who's the the chief economist for the National Association of Realtors. He wants to make it clear that this isn't necessarily a recession in home prices, but we are maybe seeing a housing recession in the in terms of existing home sales continuing to drop. Now, will we see home prices drop? Will we see price reductions increase? Um, it's likely, but we really don't know what that's gonna look like because there's still so many question marks surrounding the economy right now. Um, are there gonna be massive layoffs? Are companies gonna start cutting jobs, therefore leaving people in a position of, A, they can't afford where they're living, they need to sell their house. Are we gonna see this massive influx of properties coming on the market? That's still to be determined, um, but when you're focusing here, specifically in Austin, Texas. We are not recession proof, but we handled the last recession a lot better than a lot of surrounding cities. Yes, home prices have skyrocketed here up, median sales price being almost $200,000 higher now than it was two years ago. So again, we're gonna see more of that stabilization and maybe more regular growth in the, in the market here. So if you're a buyer in the market right now, not only do you have more options in resale, but some interesting uh, statistics we're seeing on the builder side. Builder confidence has dropped now for eight straight months, and they are seeing the effects of this big time. I've had buyers that have decided uh, that were under contract on new construction, the home wasn't done, the home was delayed, and they've decided to cancel their contracts, get out of it and start looking for something else that they can maybe spend less on and that meets their timeline a little bit better. That is pretty common now in this market that buyers are exploring that. But here is an interesting statistic. Builders have now seen traffic drop to levels that they haven't seen since 2014. So levels were around this low right when the pandemic hit and like no one was doing anything going anywhere, but we'll take that out because that's an outlier. 2014, so eight years ago is when builders saw traffic as low as they're seeing it right now. So you can look at this in a couple of ways. And this is not me saying that you need to go out and buy a house right now. This is the best time for you to do that. If it fits your needs, if it fits your long-term goals, if you're planning on being there for more than three years, I still think this is a good time to buy a house. Understand when builders see that softening with the buyer demand, you're gonna start seeing more incentives, more things that they are offering to buyers. We've also been seeing a lot of builders, 20% of builders across the country have reported price reductions. So, you know, builders are doing what they can to not only get buyers in the door, but get buyers to sign a contract once they get in. So look at that as an opportunity if a new build is what the route you're going, or if it's resale and you want to be in a house, you want to be a homeowner, you know, waiting for a year, maybe, maybe just maybe prices will go down but if you're going to be there for a long term lock in what you know today because you might be kicking yourself in a year from now if the market re rebounds and prices start going back up drastically again so i hope this video was helpful to you i will put the link to all the different market reports for the different counties for the city of austin we only reviewed the uh, austin area today um, which is austin surrounding suburbs but it's the most comprehensive look at what's happening here in the atx I'll put that link in the description. So check it out. If this video is helpful to you. Make sure you give that thumbs up, smash that subscribe button. Catch you on the next one.